Okay, so it is January 22nd, it's Wednesday, and I've come across my browser to this article that I'd like to share with you on Meghan and Harry and how they and their plan to change their media coverage has already hit a snag. I won't read it verbatim, but I'll just skim it because you yourself can certainly go on to VanityFair.com today and just, you know, put in, you know, the date today in their search or, of course, media coverage and it'll all come up. Um, I'm upset because I had already video, um, shot a video and I deleted it by accident. So it's like, oh, so this one is going to be, I hope, short. But I have so much to say. But I already said it because in my other video that got deleted, I was venting and telling you how exhausting these two really are and how dark things are becoming, how very concentrated the deception is and how thick this stew of lies and manipulation and the smoke and mirror thing and the long con. It's all so deep and it's deeper than you and I and we're just doing this for entertainment and fun. It's not becoming that much fun anymore because it's funny, but it's not fun. It's entertaining. It's like a guilty pleasure, but it's not entertainment. It's certainly not a walk in a theme park or a slip and slide or a cold ice cream on a hot day. Entertaining, fun. It, no, 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 no. This is guilty pleasure entertaining. This is fun because you and I perhaps share a feeling or an opinion that's similar on this stuff, but it's so exhausting. I mean, day and in the evening, there's stories coming out. So if something's put in the top of the day that says one thing, at the end of the day, there is another whole reported twist or article or story and they contradict each other sometimes they coincide with each other and sometimes they're just laughable and it makes you wonder how deep the rabbit hole goes and I like to say oh what a web we weave when first we practice to deceive and this may be something I repeat in my videos from now on until I feel suffice that I feel just like, oh, you know, because I'm finding it so depressing. These two, they're going to just go down in just like a, a huge poop. I just feel like Prince Harry, maybe he didn't love 100% of being a prince because it comes with a lot of this or that, right? You just can't be you when you want to be you or act crazy when you want to act crazy because it's all being documented, right? And if you slip up, somebody's got to fix it for you and then you've got the guilt of that and then you got to still look like professional and it's always keeping up. And maybe it's exhausting and maybe he sometimes felt like he might not have really wanted to be a prince anymore but you're always going to be a prince because you were born that way however this whole thing and how Megan found that like I said the world stage where she could just be the 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 protagonist the lead protagonist and she could just do the the her acting the best and it's her stage exit. It's actually an entering and exiting of the stage. So I feel like it's kind of not her authentic self, but I mean, I feel like it's a thick stew, a really thick stew of the long con of the deception, the manipulation. I feel like it's a lot of complaining and a lot of darkness that has just come over the whole thing. And if Princess Diana was as good as she was, and she was, you know, so special to so many people, she, what she showed, and she wasn't an actress, she was not anybody like that. She was Princess Diana. She was a girl that became a princess. And if she's, her presence can still be felt, or she still, 
exists somewhere and she could see this, I think she'd be appalled. I really don't feel like this is actually in line with what she would ever have imagined her son would deal with, like her second son would deal with. I just don't feel that that's something that she would say, yeah, he's given them a run for their money or yeah, he did the right thing. I just feel like she would have said maybe at least the the Princess Diana that was shown to the world, she would have said there's a, a way to do this. There's always a way to do this. And she probably would have been a better advisor to him. Of course, that should have, could have, would have. But I just don't feel that he really is going about it with Megan because Megan brings a lot of, I feel like Megan brings a lot of darkness. Even though I don't feel that she's a bad person per se, I just feel like, has this all just gone to her head? Has this all like been played out? Is this an act? Is there an agreement? Is there a contract in place? Is she a mole? Is she just doing this because she they have a plan? Is she helping Prince Harry escape because that was the deal in the first place? What's up? What's up? Because I don't feel that it's the love that these people are portraying. And please look at my disclaimer in the comments and you'll see that this video is for entertainment. It's all my own opinions. And I share them with you because I feel like somebody out there can feel similarly to me. Somebody out there is like, we're together. We're, we're in on this like, wow, this is some crazy ass shit. So I won't read the article completely because you can look it up online, but Prince Harry and Meghan's plan to change their media coverage has already hit a major snag. Now, I've already skimmed this article and read most of it, but I'll just read off a little bit. With a smile on her face and baby Archie cozily tucked up in a carrier, Meghan Markle couldn't have looked happier as she enjoyed a hike through the forest on Vancouver Island. But while the Duchess was all smiles, the couple are privately furious at what they consider to be gr a gross invasion of their privacy. Here we go again. More lawsuits because why? They can. Do they have a leg to stand on? I'm not sure. She was taking a walk in a, pri in a public park with her two bodyguards like two miles behind her. Like, if you're so frightened and you're so concerned about photos, wouldn't you have some big-ass security guys standing in front of you? Maybe even behind you, but standing in front of you, leading the way, blocking those long lens shots, making it difficult? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really get her point in doing this walk in a public park and then complaining that people are taking pictures of you. It just, this sounds like it's crazy. It's literally like someone's lost their mind. Like, like almost like someone's doing this and planning this out so they can complain about it and then they can say they're going to sue and then they can seem like victims again, but then they're not victims because they're taking it into their own hands by being assertive and saying, we'll sue you. And then I hope to God you really can sue these people because you look pretty stupid if you can't. Because it's silly if you're out in public and someone's taking a picture of you. Yeah, I think that it's it's generally said that someone should have the um, permission of the person to take pictures of them. So I kind of get that part. And I would say that, but she is still an HRH, even though she's already put on her, you know, water moccasins, whatever the heck she's got on, um, water boots, snow boots, whatever, and bundled up and looks like she's a California girl in a chilly area. Yeah, she looks like she's back to the Megan that we saw prior to when she married Prince Harry. But I feel like if you didn't want to be seen, you should stay the hell in. And that's what I would do if I didn't want the chance to be seen because I'm out there with somebody who's majorly important in, to the world. I would hide out a little while. I would lay low. Meghan and Prince Harry are so angry with the, over the publication of the picture 
which appeared on the front page of a British newspaper and on the news websites around the world that they have instructed their UK-based legal team to issue warnings over the long lens pictures, which are taken by a photographer who was in well, who was hiding in the bushes? Like you knew he was in the bushes or you knew that after? If you knew he was in the bushes, why don't you send your big guys for security, send them ahead to say, hey, we're give me your camera right now. We're not going to damage it. We just want to remove the picture. We want to make sure it's removed. Did you remove it? Show me that you removed it. I want to see it. Okay, now get out of here. None of that was done. I don't know. That's what I would do if I was like in that position. I would say, hey, big buff guy. You're paid to watch me and be, you know, concerned about what's around me. These people are taking photos of me that I don't, I don't give permission to. Can you go over there and remove, make sure they remove the pictures? And that's what I would do. And my security guy would say, yes, hopefully, and, or no, <laughs> you know, but I wouldn't make a stroll in a park with my dogs and my baby. Why don't you just wear a bikini too? And just, you know. Why don't you just have like your lights and camera action and just do the whole do? I mean, you're in public. What do you expect? The only thing I agree with is that I thought that if you hadn't given permission to someone to take a photo, but in America, I've, and just like they did to Princess Diana, you can to take a long range shot. I mean, what are they going to do? You want to be famous. You are famous. And, or infamous, <laughs> in Megan's case, infamous, in Prince Harry's, famous. Um, there's a difference. So I don't know that she knew that he was in the bushes, but she looks like she's smiling ahead right at the camera. Who are you smiling at? Who the heck are you smiling at in the photo, which I'll show in another video right quick, um, in another, in my next video. But she's smiling at a camera. It looks like she's smiling directly at somebody. And if it's like her neighbor, then her neighbor took a picture of her and sold it. Otherwise, she knew that it's some type of photographers. Now, I know that everyone who is in Celebrityville, even though Prince Harry is a prince and a royal family member, you usually have your own team of people that take pictures and document for you um, when you go out and do things like that. So maybe she was smiling at her own photographer for her own website or for her own use. So, but whatever, they all were together because it looks like she's looking one direction. According to a letter from the couple's lawyers sent to the British news outlets, video footage of the Duchess walking with her baby son has also been published on the internet. Ooh. Okay. So I want to stop there because you know, it's going to go into the same rhetoric. They want to be private citizens. They don't approve of people taking photos of them. You know, they're going to say that they have the right to be private, which I guess, and the world says, or these newspapers says, well, there's a demand to see you. So we took pictures and we're newspapers, we're journalists and reporters, we can do that. Where's the line? So I guess they're going to have to make the line. But what is she going to do? Make sure nobody wants to take a photo of her? Watch out what you ask for. Because then everybody can just get your photos from you. And when they get sick and tired of your photos and your stupid PR, then they will not, you will not be in the front of the minds of people who you want to be in the front of, my, of their mind. So... I guess it comes with the territory, but you can check out this, uh, this article, this particular article on Vanity Fair, and they're getting, um, problems already because they're in Canada and Canada has, you know, loose pol like they have policy in place. But my understanding from watching the news in my country here in the United States is that Canada doesn't really ha they have some established privacy laws. But they don't have any recorded, a lot of recorded history on going to court over it. So could that mean a benefit to the Sussexes that they could set the precedence in a way? But will they really set the precedence? Because they're royals. They're, they're still royals. So will they set the precedence because they're royals? And then it'll reflect when they're private citizens too? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's getting super, 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 super thick. So, oh, what a web we weave when first we practice to deceive. I thank you so much for stopping into the video today. 
and checking out my browser with me and the news about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry who abdicated his position within the royal family to go live in Canada and to basically live somewhere and pretend that he has this son who he's never with and you never see him with the kid. It's amazing someone like Harry who loves children or who seems to have always loved children. He's never hardly ever playing around with that kid. Like, <sighs> I have so many, so many opinions, but I hope you'll stay and come back to the next video when I share more of my opinions. Thank you for watching this video. It was for entertainment only. All my opinions. This video is not for kids. Never was. My channel is not for kids. And fair use is used in this, the guidelines, and as well as all my content is found on a public domain. Thank you. Bye.